Okay, so for this problem, we have sine cubed x times cosine squared x, right? And one note I want to make is sine cubed x is the same thing as sine x cubed. Some people get tricked up by this, but I just want to clarify that. Okay, so to solve this problem, uh, what we can do is use this trig identity, right, um, to help solve this. So to make this problem look like this trig identity, we have to change this sine cubed x. So let's change the sine cubed x into sine squared x times sine x, right? Because sine x times sine squared x is the same thing as sine cubed x. So now since we've converted it and just the same thing here right here, uh, what we can do is substitute the sine squared x. So if I subtract a co uh, uh, if I subtract cosine squared x from both sides, I get 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to sine squared x, right? So if I have sine squared x right here, I can substitute it with 1 minus cosine squared x. And then I can leave everything else the same. Now since I've done all of that, I'm going to rewrite it as cosine x squared, right? And over here, cosine x squared. Both of these mean exactly the same thing as I pointed out right here. Um, these two are just mean the same thing, it's just a different way of writing it. But it helps when I do u substitution to show this, right? So when I say that u is equal to cosine x, the derivative is du, right? So derivative of cosine is negative sine x. But notice how this is a negative. So what we'll do is make it negative du is equal to sine dx, right? Sine x dx. I'll write that in there, sine x dx. Okay. So now since we know that, we can just plug in. So 1 minus u, right? Because we said cosine is u. 1 minus u. And don't forget the negative, right? It's because it's negative du, so it's negative du. And then over here, since cosine, uh, it's, it'll be u squared. So it's 1 minus u squared, u squared du. So now what we do is we have negative out front, and then we just multiply across. So u squared times 1 is u squared. u squared times u squared is just negative u to the fourth du. And then now we do the integral. So um, uh, this will be plus 1. So it'll be 3 divided by 3, right? Because that's the answer. And then over here, plus 1. So it'll be 5 divided by 5 will be that. And we can't leave it like this, right? Because we did a u substitution. So we plug in cosine x. Don't forget the negative. And the negative carries through. So this will become positive. That's a common mistake. So it'll be, um, it'll be cosine right here. And then cosine right here. And this is also really important. Don't forget the plus c. So I hope all of that helped. And thanks for watching.